y'all. Templeton here, and this is Life on Planet Cowgirl, and I am here with my dear, amazing, incredibly talented friend, the rock star, who is Frankie Lovato Jr., um, the creator, founder of Equisizer, um, Renaissance Cowboy, amazing singer-songwriter. <laughs> this man is the bomb, y'all. And not only um, has he created the Equisizer and done all these things I just told you about, he and his beautiful wife, Sandy, <laughs> who we couldn't convince today to come on screen, so she's behind the scenes, um, but she and this amazing man right here have created their own now nonprofit therapeutic writing facility called Stampede of Dreams, and I'm going to let Frankie kind of tell you all a little bit about this dream that has come true for them. Well, to start off, thank you, and it's an honor to be a big part of, or if, a part of any, of Life on Planet Cowgirl. Aww, thank you, I'm honored. <laughs> a fan, uh, through and through, and, and you and your husband, Sam. Amazing, amazing people. So, uh, we will stop caring, because her and I do this, and... and Mutual goes, admiration society. It goes on and on, and people are <laughs> yawning. And, um, but anyway, this all started with, uh, you can see we're, we're sitting on horses, uh, wooden horses, and, and these are the equisizers. And this is something so cool. that uh, I created uh, years ago uh, from a racing accident, and it was for rehabilitation. It was the reason why I created the whole uh, concept of this. Um, but because of that, it, it started out in horse racing with other jockeys that wanted to train, rehabilitate, um, or just stay fit, that we found the therapeutic riding programs that uh, had issues with certain riders. It might have been weight issues, fear issues. Um, anything that they couldn't solve, there, there's such a gap between the ground and a real horse. Right. Not only the height, but with all the other issues. You find, uh, you may even understand this, I mean, sometimes people forget to breathe once they, they're up at 16 <laughs> hands high. And um, the thing with the Equisizer, it just was, became this tool that they could use to help some of the riders overcome the fear, the balance issues, even stretching and warming up. Uh, the introduction to, to their first uh, ride. Uh, many of them uh, have these anxieties. They want to do it, and, and it's such a positive result. But that step that goes from the ground to the horse, this became like an intermediate thing for them. Uh, and it, it was for us, it was, we, didn't, we never realized that that was going to happen. But it inspired us to learn more about the, the industry of, of therapeutic riding, equine assistive activities, and therapies. So um, my wife and I, I was still racing for many years. We always had a dream to start a, our own therapeutic riding program. Right, honey? She's, she's over there. <laughs> she's right back out of there. The, out of the shot. And beautiful. And beautiful, I yes. <laughs> but my wife masterminded, got it together with some other wonderful people in the community here in Norwalk, Ohio. The support has been amazing. Uh, it was really easy for, for us uh, to, to, to put the dream to a reality. When I retired from racing, we lived in New York, it's, it's hard to have a therapeutic riding program around the city. So right, right. Uh, we moved to small town Ohio. There's lots of land, as you can see around here. It's beautiful out here, y'all. It, it, uh, it, it really opened up the, the doorway for us to make this a reality, create our own therapeutic riding program. So my wife, Sandy, uh, initiated the whole thing. She got together with some other women. Um, she started taking uh, workshops and, into being a certified NARA, N-A-R-H-A, North American Ride for the Handicap instructor, which okay. she is now officially certified. Um, and we were able to open up our program from an idea in about a year's time. We, we, we're having lessons. Um, we've got students. We've got a waiting list. And the support from the, the, the local town, is, it's just been amazing. And we are just going to keep growing. So yeah. it all started from the Equisizer. From these beautiful uh, pieces of art that still just bog on my brain how, how you do this. So well, thank you. I'm in awe of you. So it's, it's been an amazing ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's, that exactly. may be pun intended, but oh, it's hey. been an amazing ride. Absolutely. And, and we are so thrilled. And, and even last night, and thanks to Templeton and Sam, they did a nice, beautiful, small performance for our staff and volunteers um, so and supporters of Stampede of Dreams. And, um, wow, you got to see some of the people, amazing people, that their hearts and, and their time and energy just going to helping people with disabilities and therapeutic riding. So That's thank incredible, you. incredible, isn't it? We're yeah. so blessed, and um, we all know um, the power of the horses and, and what they do for us, mind, body 
spirit, soul, everything. It's incredible. Um, so I'm just proud of y'all. And I, I just will say it is amazing what can happen when you dream. And you two are the epitome of that. You know, you, you dream you. big and you, you do exactly what you love doing. We follow you. <laughs> yeah. Well, See, if we, if we ever get off you. course, we listen to a Templeton CD. So. Well, I'm, I'm so it's a true story. I'm grateful. God, I love these folks. Tempe Town. <laughs> and open, and I gotta say too, because y'all know, being the ambassador for Egala. Yeah. So uh, for the Equine Assisted Growth and Learning Association, hoping you know too. I know you guys are interested in that as well. Yeah. And doing some equine assisted psychotherapy and just all that you're doing with Stampede of Dreams. I'm just honored to be a part. I'm honored to be riding the beautiful Althea. This is Althea. That's Bob. Bob. <laughs> And we're just reminding you what? To, to dream big, work, work hard. hard, have faith. faith. That's life on Planet, Planet Cowgirl. Cowgirl. It's dreaming big and working hard and having faith. Making sure you make the most of every breath you take. And knowing that today ain't just another day going by.